Hi Bruce, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks Tom. Thanks for being here with us today. That's great. Well, we just talked about the different Bomihal massage creams, and we'd like you to do a couple different demos with several of the creams, showing us the different viscosities, the glides, and how they perform during the different massage modality applications. I'd be happy to. Thank you. We have so many creams to choose from. We're picking the ones that have defined differences. The all-purpose cream is the one that we're going to use first, which is really used more for um, some more specific related body work. Uh, it has a little bit more traction, so we can be more specific with our work, which gives us more control. I think the one thing we really have to realize as body workers is that you can use too much of any product. And so the proper amounts of these products are one of the important parts, or the important part of really providing massage service for your clients. So if you use too much of any one of these, you're going to glide too fast, and then it's going to compromise your body mechanics. So what I'm going to try to demonstrate today is how we're going to be using these in a proper amount so it doesn't compromise our body mechanics. And we'll look a little bit at the body mechanics during the demonstration. So I'm going to have to turn your head for me to the opposite side. I'm going to work up here on the upper back first with the all-purpose cream. And as you can see, this is a very thick cream. And so again, it gives us more of that controlled glide. Very little is used. I feel that you can always add more. Taking away cream is not as easy. And so I'm going to apply my hands first to the area in which I want to work the body. And then as you're working the body, you want to make sure that you're watching your body mechanics, the angle of your wrist as you're working, and the slower, the firmer the work, the more that you're going to feel. But obviously at first you're going to be doing gent firm but not very specific strokes, just to bring that blood flow to the surface before you do anything more specific. And I also find that standing on this side of the table, my inside hand is the hand that's going to do most of the strokes because it keeps my wrist in line. I want my wrist in line with my hand. When you start changing the angle of your wrist, it's not advantageous biomechanically. And so I wouldn't be using this hand, say for instance, the angle is not correct with my wrist in my hand. So, now that we've warmed up this area a little bit, now we can go in and do whatever specific work you might want to do, whether it's trigger point work, or coming in and do something very slow and firm, which might be more myofascial related. So this is the way that you'd be using this cream. And as you see, I've I only added very little cream right now, and there's still a nice controlled glide on the body. The next cream, this was the all-purpose cream, the next cream that we're going to go on to now is going to be the organic cream. This one we just used had a viscosity of 10, which is the thickest cream that Bombatol makes. Now we're going to go into the organic line. This has an 8. You can see the difference in the texture of the cream. We're going to work the lower back for this, applying some different strokes, but you can also see how it's appropriate, again, for more general work, but it's really a crossover depending upon what you're looking for as a therapist and how you want to apply the creams. So I'm going to stand at the head of the table now when I'm first doing this application. And again, we, have, we didn't apply any other cream to the lower body at this point. And I can feel the difference in this glide. It's a little bit faster. But again, if you don't apply too much, you can still change your body mechanics. And again, I'm, I'm sort of, we're starting all over again. This area has not been worked before. So again, I just want to create that circulation before you go in and do anything specific. And by using the, amount around, the correct amount of cream, you can lean into your strokes. I can get my body moving forward. If you use too much lubrication on the body and you're trying to lean forward into the stroke that I'm doing right now, you're going to have to hold back or you're going to go way too fast. So again, it's really important to use the correct amount of cream for the application that you want to accomplish. And then I can come in and do some nice muscle stripping strokes just using my thumbs, which is deep, firm pressure. 
going in the direction of the muscle fibers. And there are times when I'm going to want to change my body position. So I keep contact with the body. And now I might want to do some trigger point work on quadratus. So I'm just using my digits and pressing into that muscle gently. Remember that the pressure is gradual when you're doing firmer work. And the healing process actually happens when you release the pressure because that's when the new blood and oxygen can come back into the tissue again. When we're pressing into the body, we're pushing the blood away from the tissue. Releasing from it is what starts that process. So now you've seen two of the thicker creams that Bon Vital makes. On this other side of the body, we're going to go ahead now and, and use the multi-purpose cream which I'll show you more connective strokes will be more based in the Swedish techniques. I'm just going to clean my hands here just to take some of this off, some of the cream off so I can get a better sensation and understanding of what this next cream is going to feel like. And as you can see, again, consistency is noticeably different between the three products that we decided to demo for you today. So I'm going to have to do a complete application on this one side of the back. And again, with Swedish, your strokes are going to be lighter and more connected. So it's most Swedish techniques are based on light to medium pressure. And so clients are looking for that glide and that fluidity in your motion. And I know many of us like to use forearms, so forearms can be incorporated into the stroke as well. Just make sure you bend your knees and you get your body moving forward. We have a lot of problems with either new therapists or people that have been working for a while that have work-related issues that prevent them from working. And if we become a little bit more aware of our body mechanics, then we're going to be working a lot longer and more efficiently. And that means we need to move our body, we need to bend our knees, and use the correct hands when working on specific sides of the body. Again, crossing your arms in front of you is something that you don't want to do when you're doing massage strokes. You don't want this angle. You want to use the inside hand. And if you work this way, you're going to find yourself being able to work longer. At the head of the table, I can work with either hand because I can move my body and still keep my wrist in line with my strokes. So these are nice, long, even, connected strokes that would be appropriate for any Swedish technique. So we've gone through the three that we wanted to demo for this section. And then we're going to be moving on to lotions, then gels, then oils.